uh, up to the previous class, we actually noted that is a uniform flow, a source and a scene. We may actually get the mathematical expressions for flow over an oval shaped body. Yes or no? Yes, sir. And accordingly, we can use those particular equations to get the other aspects of flow over oval shaped body. Now, <clears throat> afterwards, people started thinking that if we can have it for the oval shaped body, why cannot we have it for a perfectly round body? Obvious. It is very much obvious that if we can go for something which is an oval shape that we actually came up with our mathematical expressions and all the things. We didn't predict that this will happen. But the mathematical expressions actually showed us that this particular thing is happening. So you can see the screen, I think. And this was the case that when a source of sink. Sir. Hello, sir. Hello, sir. Uh, hello. Think the visual hot channel, sir. Rejoin what? Okay, sir. Wait, sir. So now it is visible, sir. Okay. So if we put the source and sink at two different locations and an uniform flow is actually flown over them, it actually gives the simulation of a flow over a over an oval shaped body. About this we discussed in the previous class. And then people started thinking that if you are going to get flow over a round body or a round cross-sectional body, what actually we need to do? Think from the point of view of mathematics. How can you make an oval or actually for mathematics case an ellipse to be a circle? Sir, by colliding major and minor axis. Exactly. And uh, in order to equalize these two things, from mathematical term, what you should do? Sir, I think eccentricity we will change, sir, accordingly. Actually, perhaps you have uh, forgotten those terms. There are two focus of this particular ellipse, na? Yes, sir, focus, sir. Yeah, so you see the source and sink, those are placed at the two focal points. And when the ellipse is going to be a circle, obviously the two focus will have to move towards one another and they must meet at the center of the circle, isn't it? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. But obviously, Keeping the source and sink both at the same point is not possible because it is technically impossible. Na? But 
okay mr calculus will come to help them because they will say that the force and sink approached towards the center and let the source and sink be placed very close to one another near the center so the source and sink they will approach the center and they will be placed very close to one another so that sir between them <coughs> sir the distance to be here b and b to b this distance becomes negligible then in limiting way we may say the ellipse will approach a circle isn't it sir bolchilam सेम पॉइंट The emerging flow and the converging flow will cancel one another and they will not exist at all. Is it clear, sir? Okay. So first of all, they tried to find out the velocity potential and spin function for the force and spin flow, which are placed very close to one another. That is, the distance between them is negligible, and this particular flow is termed as the doublet flow and the doublet flow is actually thought of in a way that a source and sink of equal strength are placed very close to one another and i am again not going in the details but obviously the spin function is given in this way and from the and the spin function is uh, spin function and velocity potential are given in the way limit l tends to 0 limit l tends to 0 means the distance between them is considered to be negligible and in this way the two functions come in this particular form from where we can get the corresponding velocities and we can get the spin line in the form of this okay fine that is not an issue for us because this particular thing doesn't give you anything but when you actually actually merge this flow with uniform flow then it provides you something like this so a uniform flow and the doublet is now combined and the shy will be like this and the corresponding stream function will provide you a flow like this and this particular flow just as the mathematicians anticipated provides the flow over a body which is circular in cross section got my point or not got sir this body body is a streamline body the body the body is a circular cross section body this is the circular cross section body you see when these two particular flows interact they provides you a combined flow like this and these will simulate the flow over a body of circular cross section so a circular cross section body you cannot say a streamline body and a circular cross section body is nothing but a cylinder so it is termed as flow over a cylinder and the corresponding velocity are provided in this way this is vr and v theta will be there 
ट्रांसमिशन Or a uh, round cross-sectional body, any round cross-sectional body can be this. And the V R and V theta are provided in this way. From the shy, obviously, we can get V R and V theta. That is absolutely all right. Now there is a question on this particular thing. that is as there are so many instances of flow over a cylinder or a circular ball people started thinking about it ki now it is not only the river flow but also we can actually predict many things which are moving through air circular things moving through air which can be simulated in this way isn't it by that time boris becker servicing with a tennis ball and tennis racket the tennis ball moves through the air isn't it are sab ghume bolo na ha sir so that particular thing also can be simulated in a way like this may be possible now they started thinking of what is the pressure distribution over the cylinder what mathematics thing let us see and they found from the velocity if we are going to the pressure distribution i am again not going in the details of the mathematics because that is not covered in your syllabus but the pressure distribution actually provides a coefficient of pressure to be 1 minus 4 sin square theta now there is a problem where is the problem if the pressure coefficient over a circular cylinder is provided in this way 1 minus 4 sin square theta sin theta is positive in which quadrant sir first one first and second first and second all sin 10 cos yes sir first and second sir right so in third and fourth sin theta sin sin theta is negative right sir but sin square theta is positive in all four quadrant isn't it right sir so if there is the term sin square theta the pressure term for all the four quadrants will be uniform isn't it right sir so it implies that this particular cylinder like cross section will face uniform pressure distribution all throughout uh, sir bolchilam bolo sir uh, sir theta ta theta ta ki hocche theta is uh, angle right so ekam theke angle this is theta उटेंट 
yes sir but the upper quadrant and the lower quadrant will be facing uniform pressure isn't it yes sir so it is implied that the pressure distribution in the upper half and lower half of this particular cross section will be equal isn't it yes sir because there is sin square theta term and sin square theta is uniform in the upper quadrant and the lower quadrant isn't it right sir <clears throat> but then the engineers came in picture and this is a very interesting fact they started asking the mathematician ke bhai abhi tak jo jo bola tha wo to sahi tha the river flow over oval shaped body uh, the uniform flow and doublet providing the flow over a cylinder all these things could be uh, matched with the practical situation but what you are saying about the circular cross sectional bodies this is not matching with our general perception then the mathematician asked why now you tell me right now obviously uh, we don't see david truman bowling but we obviously see josprit bumrah bowling isn't it right sir so if a circular cross sectional ball moves through air it is obviously a circular cross section moving through uniform flow or in other way uniform flow on a circular cross section then how does it swim how does the beautiful fast bowlers of all the era actually provided so beautiful in swings and out swings and not only them how did boris baker carve all those swinging s services with the tennis balls if the pressure distribution is same over the two halves there should not be any deviation of this particular balls towards any side isn't it sir are you repeat karo yes sir yes sir okay i am repeating again if the pressure distribution is same towards each half then the ball should move in the straight way right it cannot deviate na right sir but it is seen that the ball deviates by that time david truman was bowling very nice in swingers dennis lilly was bowling very nice out swingers boris baker was serving very nice ace services with his racket those are actually swinging one they swing on air it is not the spinners that the ball swings after having hit the surface that is different issue that can happen but when the ball moves through air it is implied that the pressure distribution in both halves cannot be same isn't it yes sir if the pressure distribution is same how can it deviate it cannot deviate now think about an in swinger it was going fine at the end it dipped towards the batsman isn't it yes sir how did it happen the pressure distribution cannot be so beautifully same 
so it is not getting answer from the mathematics mathematics is saying the pressure distribution is same so do you find the discrepancy behind it they are is having some discrepancy with the mathematical expressions isn't it right sir so the mathematicians again move on to find out a suitable explanation regarding this thing and they came up with an answer that when when boris baker actually saw this particular swing services when the beautiful fast bowlers and seamers are actually providing you such in swings and out swings they are not simply letting the ball move through air they are actually providing a swing on the ball when it moves through air that is the ball rotates on its own axis along with it actually moves to the air what my point or not yes sir so if the ball is rotating on its own axis then obviously along with such flows there is another particular flow which is actually dealing on with the ball and that particular flow is called a free vortex flow here it is written vortex flow but obviously i must say that it is not a forced vortex it is a free vortex flow hmm sir set a ideal flow hai yes which is provided in this way which is having only a tangential direction and no radial velocity is there and that is why only boris baker can solve all those ex services only a very good pacer can actually swing the ball very beautifully because he knows how much self swing of the ball is to be provided in order to control the swing and the self swing of the ball that is when the ball is actually moving on its own axis is actually looking like this depending on the radius of the ball this will happen so this particular vortex flow will be combined with that particular flow over a cylinder if we are going to consider flow of such cricket balls and tennis balls got my point or not got sir sir yes ha sir bolchilam je ekhane vortex flow diye concept ta deal kora hocche but oi jokhon ball ta jokhon swing korche tokhon to dist movement er karone ball ta ke ekta moment provide kora hocche jar karone swing hocche ar vortex flow to sir air er movement ta about a particular center प्रोभाइड कर আচ্ছা তো মানে ওইটা সে বলটা সারাউন্ডিং এর যে এয়ারটা আছে ওইটাও রোটেট হচ্ছে এজ আ ভরটেক্স ফ্লো গট ইট यस সো শুড আই কন্টিনিউ মে আই কন্টিনিউ यस सर यस सर ফার্স্ট ভরটেক্স তো उंडिंग एयर घूर 
and obviously the shy is going to be combined with that particular shy of flow over a cylinder that renders that these two shies are to be combined and when we combine these two shies the flow looks like this and when you actually see this particular flow it is very much obvious that flow is actually saying that the velocity distribution and then obviously the pressure distribution on this particular circular cross section is not symmetric isn't it when the vortex was yes, not there it was symmetric but when the vortex is there it renders it to be asymmetric and this particular thing will create a net lift on this particular body and the mathematicians found the expression for this lift that is given by rho u gamma what is this sir bolchilam yes ei je bollen je racket diye ball ta ke je motion korano hoy othoba je bowling e cricket e jara bowler ra bowling kore in swing out thing to sei motion ta amra je eta pachi seta mane ei flow over e cylinder are free vortex flow ta ke add kore tai to ekdom खेल that it is going in a uniform way it is not actually we put a tangential motion on this ball to the racket if you see the motion of a racket on a ball we are actually providing a tangential force on the ball okay we are not providing a force that is actually directed towards the center of the ball if you see okay it is providing in a tilted manner so that the force on the tennis ball by the racket is actually in a tangential sense and that actually creates a self rotation of the ball along with its forward movement what my point got sir sir lift ta je bolchilen keno create hocche due to this particular thing as this particular pressure distribution now is no longer uniform that was 1 minus 4 sin square theta but now these two terms actually came up with the pressure distribution and obviously the second term that is having a sin theta component in it that is not uniform 
throughout the 360 degree and that is actually creating an asymmetry what my point hmm sir jeta amra ei figure e dekhlam exactly and if the pressure distribution is not same obviously there will be a net force due to the difference of pressure okay at one side the pressure will be less and at one side the pressure will be more so there will be a net force towards the lower pressure side isn't it ha sir and that particular net force is actually termed as the lift force by the then mathematician and the expression they found are provided by <coughs> as i have already shown you rho v infinity into gamma <coughs> so what are the things this lift force is actually depending on that is the velocity of the uniform flow v infinity the strength of the circulation that is how much rotation i am providing on the ball that is providing you the strength of the circulation or the uh, strength of the free vortex and obviously the density of the liquid as we are considering for aerodynamics only air so the density of the liquid here is okay that is more or less constant obviously that will change with elevation and all but that is negligible so from the uniform flow point of view from the ideal flow point of view we are also getting the lift in this way and it says that here also it is showing that the lift is depending on rho infinity and v infinity along with the gamma so do you find that even from only mathematical analysis they came up to a point where the lift can be defined obviously we defined lift in the first chapter through the free body diagram analysis of pressure and shear stress distribution isn't it right sir here again through only mathematical analysis and ideal flow analysis we got the lift obviously a question comes but that is again very much beyond your syllabus that if there is a circulation required for lift where is the circulation in case of an aerofoil you have shown us only pressure and shear stress sir you have not shown us any circulation whatsoever So how the circulation came actually? You are saying that without circulation, lift cannot be generated. The ideal flow analysis is showing us that a circulation with a strength gamma is required, and you are saying lift is generated through pressure and shear stress distribution. So how can we analyze? okay fine here also it is saying that lift is depending on v infinity and rho infinity that is matching through our ideology of this particular first chapter the first chapter was also showing and saying that lift is dependent on density and heat stream velocity that is all right but from where this gamma actually came if you want the answer that from where this gamma actually came and how can we actually match this ideal flow perception with our very much mechanical perception of force distribution and free body diagram then another class will be required <clears throat> but obviously i wanted to show you that the lift generation can be speculated from only the mathematicians analysis also 
Okay. Got this point? Got, sir. If you want, I can show you from where this particular circulation actually comes for the aerofoil. Uh, then another class will be required. Uh, you discuss and tell me in the WhatsApp, okay? Okay, sir. Okay. So, any questions regarding this? A bit story like things, but still, any question regarding this, you can ask me. No, sir. Okay. So, let's end for today. Okay, sir. Uh, sir, bo bo mm -hmm. uh, Okay. So, let's end for today. Okay, sir. Uh, sir, boy, boy, sir, um, uh, college is a library touch, waiter, a mother access on their hogan. Aragbar ball. College is a library, a chair, waiter, the access, a mother, a con deva hogan. He showed what he was no, it was to Amarka Chen Nibaba. Sir, I'm a Kishuku Jani Vapata. That's a lebule. Sir, I am a big Kishuku.